okay? Because photons always travel at the speed of light, three times 10 to the eight meters per second. So you would think that me being on the ground, watching the ship zip past near the speed of light and knowing that the photons are coming out relative to the ship near the speed of light, that I should be able to add those numbers together. And so the photons that I see from the ground coming out of that ship should be going faster than the speed of light, but it's not true. No matter how much we don't understand it, and I don't mean anything against you. I mean, I don't understand it either, really, because none of us physically really can, can observe photons really and see them. I mean, we, we, we see the effects of the chemical reactions in our brain, but we don't see photons moving around. We don't really interact with them in a way that's truly objective, okay? But the point is, is we think based on our everyday experience, we should be able to add the two velocities and then we would get something bigger than the speed of light, but it doesn't work that way. No matter what experiment we do involving photons or things that move at the speed of light, it, they always move at the speed of light, no matter how the detector is moving or if the detector